Welcome to the Office of Disability Services for Middle Georgia State University. This video will walk you through the processes of submitting documentation and receiving accommodations. Students requesting services from the Office of Disability Services, or ODS, are required to submit documentation to determine eligibility in accordance with Section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act of 1973 and the Americans with Disabilities Act. The following guidelines are provided in the interest of assuring the documentation is complete and meets the criteria required by the University System of Georgia. ODS reserves the right to determine eligibility and appropriate services based on the completeness of the documentation submitted. All documentation is confidential and will be maintained by ODS. Disability information is treated differently in post-secondary education from how it was treated in public education. In K-12, the nature of the student's disability status was shared with the teachers and administrators. In higher education, disability information is not shared with faculty unless the student wishes to disclose that information. What is provided to the faculty is an academic accommodation plan that outlines the accommodations and services needed but does not identify the disability. Students with disabilities attending MGA are required to disclose the nature of their condition to the ODS only if they are interested in receiving accommodations and services. Disability information does not become a part of their academic records and is not part of the regular student records. The information is known to the Office of Disability Services and cannot be released to outside entities without the student's written consent. Disclaimer. Individual Education Plan, or IEP, and 504 plans from high school are helpful in establishing a history, but additional documentation is needed in order to get accommodations in post-secondary education. Eligibility. Support for disability services is based on an analysis of the medical, psychological, or psychoeducational information you provide. This information must include the name, address, specialty of the appropriately qualified professional who conducted the evaluation, prepared the report, or provided the diagnosis. Failure to submit valid documentation may postpone assistance from the ODS. Requirements for each semester. In order to determine the need for specific services and accommodations, students must request accommodations each semester. All documentation must include the following. The current functional impact of the documented condition, treatments, medications, and accommodations and services currently prescribed or in use, the expected progression or stability of the disability over time, and other requirements also include a diagnostic statement identifying the condition. Learning Disabilities It is recommended that documentation be current, no more than three years old, or the evaluation must be conducted as an adult 18 years or older. If you have a learning disability, you should minimally have some form of psychoeducational assessment that includes measures of aptitude, intellectual assessment, achievement, and or information processing. These evaluations should include test scores, current diagnosis, and the functional limitations for an academic setting. The testing must be given and evaluated by a qualified licensed professional. The licensed professional could be a clinician or a school psychologist. The report must also be signed by the qualified professional. ADHD. Documentation should include reported history by the age of seven by either a clinical interview past psychological evaluation, or parent or spouse report. 
self-report of three major behaviors from the draft DSM-5. Observations from two professionals, which may include a clinician or a teacher across the following settings, working independently, working under direction, and working under time constraints. Mandatory corroboration of behavior by another adult, parent, spouse, relative, friend with integrity or knowledge of the client. Documentation on two rating scales of ADHD behaviors, schizophrenia, borderline personality disorder, autism, and mental retardation is not the primary disability. Psychological disabilities. You must provide a letter or report written by a licensed mental health professional or medical doctor. The letter or report should include an explanation of the nature of the condition and your current functional limitations and the impact of the medication, including side effects. This information must be current. You may be required to provide updated documentation regarding your current functional abilities as often as every six months. Here is an example of the documentation that needs to be provided. Physical or sensory disabilities. A physical or sensory disability may include physical, visual, auditory, and or mobility limitation. You must provide a letter, evaluation, or report from a physician documenting the nature of the condition and the functional limitation you experience. These documentations must be current within the last year if the condition is recent or variable. For more information, please contact the Middle Georgia State University Office of Disability Services at 478-471-2985.